Hi guys, it's Matthias, and in today's video we'll be focusing on some YOLO moments with a variety of different weapons and of course also classes where basically it's all about playing infantry and getting some of those crazy kill streaks. First off, playing support using the Parabellum, it's the low weight version and as most of you guys already know, I'm trying to get my 100 service stars with it, I'm only a few hundred kills away. Now what you probably don't know about me however is that when Maybe I play support I sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes I actually throw a limpet charge and occasionally I even get a kill or two with them. Here you'll see me using the limpet charge my... with a bit of an unexpected result. <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Now, as some of you guys probably know, my most used class is Assault. I actually have plenty more kills with Assault than the Pilot class, and there are five weapons for this class that I have 100 service stars with at the moment. I'm hoping to add another weapon to that list, but that might take a while. There are plenty of weapons that I have around four, maybe 5,000 kills with, but that still leaves about the same amount of kills to go with each weapon. Here I'm using the factory version of the Automatico and in these kind of crazy situations in between C and D on Sinai Desert, this weapon is basically as good as any of the other versions. Now personally I think I would do best with the trench, but as you can see it probably doesn't matter all that much. Now the key to your success in situations like this is to move around. Make sure that you are the one flanking your opponents, make sure that you are the one surprising your opponents so that this doesn't happen to you. Now of course the 25 bullet magazine might seem like a massive disadvantage, but the Automatico reloads fast and it's very rare that I actually empty the entire clip. Okay. Get out of my... Right, I think we're gonna die. Hold on, uh, don't, don't leave, I gotta we repair it, maybe we, we can, maybe. So here I'm about to end up in a quite crucial situation. What happens is that while this pilot is jumping over the walls, I waste way too much ammo on him, have to switch to the pistol to take out the medic, and here I have no ammo to fight the guy that's chasing me. Notice how I turned right directly after I jumped in through the window, something I did in order to break line of sight of the guy chasing me, and that's the way I was able to survive with about 30 hit points. Now, with the big magazines of some of the LMGs, you can completely change up your approach. He's low. Behind me. Oh, I got him. Nice. On the left house. Got him. Nice. So here's a bit of an unrelated clip and check out the weirdness of this situation. I'll zoom in and uh, show you what? this in slow motion later on. What? Why is that not hitting him? Explain to me why that is not hitting him. Yeah, I really don't like using those stationary, I feel like I'm too much of a sitting duck. But uh, when you are allowed to shoot with it on unexpected enemies, it is really, really good. So now, let's take a look at this in slow motion, see what happened here actually. No. So yeah, notice how far from the wall he is when I aim at him with the Parabellum. And pay attention to the fact that he is using his mortar, so he's not moving during the time it takes for me to move to this heavy MG. Here you can see how he renders much closer to the wall, and no, it's not that guy that came running from the left side. He wasn't even there when I first started shooting with the Parabellum. This is what I believe is called desync. Now, as you all know, Matti never snipes, 
so there will be no sniping in this video either. There will, however, be some quite long clips with the Fyodorov. There will be more Parabellum and a little bit of other stuff as well. So I hope you will enjoy it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, the tank pillows. There's two tanks over here. It's so difficult. First aid, take it. Oh, there's one more. We have lost objective Edward. We have lost objective Charlie. Got a few. Oh, if I had the dynamites out. Like so many of them. Huh? Fuck! I don't know a s single Swedish person that likes that stuff. This guy's a hundred super cells with more TNN. Holy shit. Those wounds, I can fix them. Oh, no. Sergeant, some first aid, pal. Wow. I hear him, but I, I don't fucking see him. I can pass your wounds. So many in the tunnel. Yeah. We need 
to be at least. Oh, yeah. Did 20 damage to the fighter. Trying to get D. Just camping. Below E. We have lost objective. Take the ammo. That ammo is for you. Oh, they're... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Below F there also. Oh, up on the rock there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up on the wall. Up above you, on the wall. Yeah, 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 I saw him. We have taken objective Freddy. Oh, I got a few. Nice. Oh, shit. Behemoth? Yeah, I think so. Ouch, ouch, ouch! This fortress is being bombarded by the boat. We have lost objective butter. Get fucking flanked! Get fucking flanked! Get fucking flanked! We have taken a oh, I got almost fucking wrecked! Here, 
ich habe ein bisschen Munition übrig. Oh, that's... I haven't been off the horse with this kit in a while. Do you believe in dice? Is that a religion? Ah! 